Why does a hermit crab live in a shell anyways? For protection. Kind of like a turtle has a shell for protection. And see how his big claw blocks the entrance? Whoa! But a turtle doesn't change shells. Why does the hermit crab? Picky. His name's Picky. Okay, why does Picky change shells? Because he grows. When Picky grows, he gets too big for a shell. Then he has to find a new shell that fits him. And the shell gives a hermit crab protection. It's armor and a home. Now that's a cool creature power. He inspected a lot of shells before he found this one. And I feel really inspired to do some hermit crab power programming. Hasta luego! One kilogram. This is more of the size we're used to seeing, before all the big ones were hunted out. Whoa, walks pretty slow for a creature with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight legs. Well, he does have to carry that big tail. Whoa! How do you do that? Got it. The big tail flicks, and the lobster shoots backwards. That big tail is full of muscles that flex and sweep the water forward that pushes the lobster backwards for a quick getaway. That is so cool. Powerful tail muscles contract, causing the fan-like tail to push water forward, instantly propelling the lobster backwards through the water. Fantastico! On it! I'm not interested in any witty bitty lobster that would fit into those twats. <laughs> I'm looking for the last largest lobster. Another one, same size. And neither one is gonna back down. <laughs> and I think we're gonna find out how they use their claws. The squeeze of a lobster is so powerful. If our hands were that strong, we could crush a walnut with just a squeeze. But why are the two claws different? One sleek and thin, one big and bulky. The big one, the crusher. That is used for crushing things. Well, the little one, the pincher, is used for ripping and tearing. Claws, claws, and more claws. I didn't know a lobster was so strong. A regular muscle head. <laughs> Finished. Coming at you, Jimmy. And teleport. Yes, a lobster power disc. <gasps> hey. Give me that. You're strong and stubborn. What am I going to call you? Hmm. Uh, I want to activate a creature power over here. <laughs> I'll name you Red Crush. See? He just wanted a name. <laughs> I think that's called a coincidence. You just don't understand the mind of a lobster. OK, well, here's something you'll understand. It's time to activate creature powers. <laughs> The tail, ready to rock it backwards. The claws, whoa, really strong. Lobster powers are awesome. Oh, those waves were rough. I think I'm a little seasick. Ah, I lost my shell, my protection. I can't last out here without a shell. The fish, the seagulls. Ah, seagull. But I gotta make a change. Shell, shell, shell. There. Oh, wait. Your limpets. Limpets? Check your discs. Yes, you made one. Oh, well, that's a relief. Activate limpet power. That's more like it. Definitely a more stable upgrade. But what are you? What's a limpet? Snail family, right, bud? We eat algae off the rocks. See him scrape it up with that rough tongue-like thing? Plenty of algae here in the inner tidal, because there's plenty of sun for it to grow. So limpets and other creatures are the grazers down here. And check out this foot. It's one giant muscle that suctions onto the rock super strongly. 
So, waves are not a problem. I can hang on tight and be mobile when I want to. And the shell protects you from the waves and predators, right? You got it. And by my calculations, if I keep moving at limpid speed, I'll arrive at the finish line in perfect timing. Oh, yeah. Limpets are going to power me to a win. Eventually. Hey, Barneys, here comes some more. Catch the plankton if you can. Hey, oh, gotcha. A little soul plankton. Wow, these feathery legs are great for snagging the plankton that gets washed in by the tides. Hey, what'd you get? Ooh, an amphipod. <laughs> nice catch. Now this is what I call free at-home delivery. <laughs> Another great reason to live in the intertidal. That is, if we can handle the waves and... Hey, where's everybody going? Ah! The tide, it's going out. And the sun. It's hot. And I'm a water animal. Oh, it'll dry me up and... What? Water, water, don't leave me now. So this morning, the water was way up here at high tide. Yeah, and now the tide is going out. It'll keep lowering until it's down pretty close to the finish line mark. So the intertidal creatures are underwater part of the time and out of the water other parts of the time. Yup. I don't know how they do it. How's Martin holding up? Not good. <sighs> I'm drying up out here. Gotta conserve moisture. Wow. Barnacles even have a trap door that they can close to keep the water in. Yeah, see you when the tide comes back up. 